This is Plant Based Briefing. After a prostate cancer diagnosis spurred me to go plant based, I feel like the Energizer Bunny by Michael Landris at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, and this is the curated content plant based podcast for people short on time but curious about plant based and vegan living. I share a variety of articles with permission on topics related to healthy, compassionate, and sustainable living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. And today's article is from Forks Over Knives, one of the amazing sources I get to share articles from. They were founded in 2011 after the release of the now world-famous documentary Forks Over Knives, which I highly recommend. You can watch it for free on their website. They also have tons of information for people at every stage of their plant-based journey. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. After a prostate cancer diagnosis spurred me to go plant-based, I feel like the Energizer Bunny by Michael Andrus at ForksOverKnives.com. For most of my life, I didn't struggle with any health issues at all. I exercised, drank in moderation, and ate what I thought was a healthy diet. Breakfast was always lots of coffee with some toast. Lunch was typically leftover spaghetti or chicken. At dinner time, some favorites were lasagna, tacos, pork chops, and gravy. In hindsight, I was not eating well, but I seemed to be doing fine. I never needed to go to the doctor. When I turned 65 and qualified for Medicare, my sister suggested I get a physical to see where my health stood. Thank goodness I took her advice. My doctors ended up finding out that I have metastatic prostate cancer. For my wife and me, this was the shock of our lives. The Turning Point The doctors recommended a regimen of chemotherapy drugs, warning me of side effects including fatigue and weight gain. When I asked what would happen if I didn't take the drugs, they said most likely I'd be bedridden and in lots of pain within 12 to 18 months. It was a grim picture either way. Of course, I chose to take the drugs. I also underwent radiation for cancer in my ribs and prostate. Things felt out of my control, which was a hard reality to face, especially for a successful self-employed guy. When it came to my construction business, my finances, or anything else, I always felt that I could solve any problem. It was during this time of facing the unknown that my cousin Amy called me. She recommended a book called How Not to Die by Michael Greger, M.D. She'd read it, and it changed her life. Being an avid reader, I downloaded the ebook and devoured it, learning a great deal about nutrition and plant based eating. It was the beginning of a dramatic change in my life. I shared with my wife what I'd learned about the health benefits of a plant based diet, the significant impact it can have in fighting disease, lowering blood pressure, managing weight, and helping the body to heal. She agreed to try it with me. In June 2021, we decided to jump in full bore on a plant based diet. We cut out all animal products as well as alcohol. We didn't find it that hard to change our eating habits, which, based on what I read and other people I talked to, was unusual. I continued reading books on plant-based nutrition and educating myself. Early on, we ate a lot of highly processed vegan options, but by September, we transitioned to a whole food plant-based diet. A surprising surge in energy. I'll be honest, I didn't notice any changes at first. I continued my chemo regimen and had several months of radiation treatments. My mental state wasn't great, but I did lose some weight despite being on chemo drugs known to cause weight gain, and my son and I took up running together, training to do a half marathon. In early April 2022, my wife and I flew to Washington, D.C. to see the cherry blossoms. We stayed downtown and rode bikes all over the city. The weather was perfect. I found myself feeling more energized than I had in years. As we biked around one afternoon, I remember asking my wife, why do you think I have so much energy? I figured it was a fluke, but as weeks went by, my energy remained high. Around this time, someone suggested I watch the documentary The Game Changers. As I heard athletes in the film describe their increased energy levels from going plant-based, it occurred to me that my surge in energy might be due to the whole food plant-based diet I'd been following for a few months at that point. Feeling unstoppable. Today I'm going on two years of plant based eating. My labs have steadily improved. My PSA, prostate specific antigen, a blood test used to screen for prostate cancer, is down to zero, and the cancer in my ribs is in remission. The doctors are taking me off all drugs in August. After that, I'll have blood work done every three months, but otherwise, I'm a free man. I just turned 67, and I feel great. I love cooking plant-based dishes, and everyone loves my tofu scramble. My friends ask me about my lifestyle, how I like it, how I feel. 
I tell them that I feel like the Energizer Bunny. I have all kinds of energy. I can outwork anybody. I can run. I can do 100 push-ups. My friends might not really believe all that, but my family does. They see it. I don't know how much time I have left or what's in the cards for me, but plant-based eating will continue to be a part of my life. I'm always advocating for it. I've gotten my sister and my son onto a plant-based path, and many of my friends have changed their eating habits for the better, too. You just listened to, after a prostate cancer diagnosis spurred me to go plant-based, I feel like the Energizer Bunny, by Michael Andrus at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and I love these success stories. And when he says, I don't know how much time I have left or what's in the cards for me, it reminds me of Dr. Kim Williams' quote. He used to be the president of the American College of Cardiology, and he said, I don't mind dying, I just don't want it to be my fault. So we can take control of a lot of our health back just by what we eat. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.